he actually ends up changing the world, or at least changing art. This is one of the most famous paintings in the world. Like everyone knows this. Every art school person has this uh, as a poster on their bedroom wall. <laughs> it's everywhere. Despite it being so iconic, I think, you know, it's really important to look closely at it. Like we might just immediately think that it's sunflowers, it's beautiful. But when you look closer, it does have this underlying sense of unease. What made Van Gogh so committed to disrupting conventions of painting? I think that the Van Gogh experts out there are still debating, you know, he was an unstable person. He was really just painting from within and from what he saw in the world, rather than in any tradition and you know, he wasn't following teachings from a school or anything. He did have one artist friend though, and that was of course Gauguin, who he famously painted this for in fact. Sadly, that visit with Gauguin didn't work out very well. This is when the infamous ear incident happened and Van Gogh cut off part of his ear. It's such a beautiful image but yet has this really quite horrific personal context for his struggles with interpersonal relationships. So I think when we're thinking about him as an artist, we have to think about him as radical and disruptive, but because he was so isolated in a lot of ways. How do you think Van Gogh would get on in our world today? We like to say, oh, you know, he was just ahead of his time and today it would be different. The fact that he was not commercially successful when he was alive uh, and that he, you know, only achieved great fame well after his death, the struggles that he Face were really real and I think you know talking about him today helps us to confront problems in our society today about mental health so he was a disruptor that no one knew about when he was alive and yet here we are today he's probably the most famous artist who's ever existed he actually ends up I would suggest changing the world or at least changing art through his desire to keep going to keep thinking, to keep urging us, to keep looking and looking and looking. Would Van Gogh be at home today in our selfie culture? Part of me wants to say yes, not because I see Van Gogh as a guy who's like crazy selfies, but it's also a really interesting way to document, you know, your own path through the world. And that's absolutely one of the things that, that he was invested in. The fast paced digital media sphere that we live in today may not have suited someone like that, who, who needed the peace and quiet of the countryside. How does it make you feel? Sad in one way, knowing the biography of Van Gogh and knowing everything that he went through. It also can't help but be an optimistic painting because it's so colorful, it's so bright. I don't know any other artwork that uses yellow in this way. Knowing all about the struggles that Van Gogh had, it's a painting still that leads with light, that leads with color. It's a painting that promises that there is yet more to who we are.